Hello, listeners. This is Kat, and welcome back to Butcherians of Podfix. This will be the continuation of Data Stream. This will be Part 9, Chapter 9. Hey, Shinzo. Ready for another wonderful day of learning? Izuku asked sarcastically as he ran up to his friend. They had been friends for a few days now, and Izuku was trying to figure out when the best time to invite him to his place would be. Oh, I can't wait for all the fun-filled entertainment that is sure to await us in this beautiful institution of learning, came Shinzo's equally sarcastic signed reply. You know, you can use your words with me, I promise not to bite, even if you accidentally wash my brain. It's filthy enough, I might even thank you for it, Izuku said, managing to get a laugh out of his friend. Meh. If you're not going to talk, you have to listen to whatever I say, and I don't always make a lot of sense. Fine, Shinzo hesitantly said. I'll talk, but I won't ask questions. Good enough for now. I have a question for you in any case. Izuka turned to face his friend more fully and asked, Want to come to my place this weekend? My uncles want to meet you. Uncles? Yep. I live with my uncles. They've wanted to meet you since I first told them I had a friend. Izuka rubbed the back of his neck and said, I, uh, didn't have any friends at my last school, so making one was sort of a big deal. I could have sworn you said you lived with your dad, though, Shinzo stated in his not-a-question way. No, I live with my Uncle Shota and my papa. They're married and they adopted me, but Uncle Shota is my actual uncle. I used to call my real dad dad, so I refused to call my uncle dad, bad memories and all that. And my papa's name is Hizashi, and my dad's name was Hizashi, so I can't call him Uncle Hizashi or Uncle Zashi, because again, bad memories tied to the name. Understood. Makes sense. So this weekend, I don't have any plans. With a grin, Izuka said, Good. Bring workout clothes. Izuka led Shinzo to the warehouse, showed a used for his own personal training, where he was going to be training the two boys. We're almost there. Be warned. I haven't told him you're a racerhead yet, so he's going to freak the fuck out. Problem, creep. Just tell him. I deal with enough hysterics from Zashi. I don't need that from the kid, too. I haven't decided on my next Endeavor prank, so I have to keep myself amused somehow. Endeavor prank? Have you been pranking the number two hero? Maybe. Okay, so, Shinzo, we're about to enter Hell. Uncle is going to be a lot harder on you than me, because, you know, you actually want to be a hero. Don't take it personally. Izuka grinned a grin he had learned from Shota. One day you'll thank me for this. I have the feeling that I should just turn and run now, Shinzo joked. Hmm, yeah, probably. Let's go. Izuka grabbed his friend's sleeve and dragged him inside. About time you got here. I was starting to think you got lost, Shota deadpanned, drawing Shinzo's attention. Izuka could see the second the gears in Shinzo's head clicked into place and recognized his favorite hero. He turned to Izuka with wide eyes and yelled, you didn't tell me your uncle was a racer head. No. No, I did not, Izuka replied smugly. I wanted to see you do exactly this, and you did not disappoint. You did not disappoint. My nephew is more gremlin than anything. I told him to tell you, but his reply was, where's the fun in that, or something like that. He pointed to a room off to the side. Get changed into the workout clothes, and we'll get started. Dead. I'm dead. I have died. My existence no longer is on this mortal coil. I heard in places I didn't even know I had. Shinzo whined as he lay on the mat after the workout. Izuku, who hadn't bothered with nearly as much as Shinzo had, looked up from the nap he had been pretending to take. You seem pretty lively for a corpse. You. Shut. Why do you get to nap and I have to be tortured? Ooh, a question. Out loud. I'm so proud of you, Shinzo. Izuku squealed in glee. And I already told you I don't want to be a hero, so why would Uncle put me through the same level of training as you? I'm just here for some basic self-defense. What he means by that, Shota corrected, is that I noticed he pulled a muscle in his shoulder, and I'm making him sit out the rest of the day. Shinzo sat up at that and asked, You're hurt? Le gasp! Two whole questions! I'd come over there and hug you if you weren't such a sweaty mess right now, Izuku teased. Shinzo leveled a half-hearted glare at Izuku and replied, You realize that if you don't actually reply to the question asked, my quirk won't trigger. I love your statement questions so much, but for real, I'm glad you feel comfortable enough to ask me questions. Ooh, Uncle Sho, can we do quirk training too? I have a feeling Shinso doesn't get the chance to practice his quirk, like, ever? Shota quirked an eyebrow at Shinso. You up for that? It's okay if you're not. Maybe another time. Shota nodded in agreement. You did go pretty hard today, 
We can do quirk training next time. For now, the both of you should hit the showers. We can go to a cafe before I take you home. Oh, are we going to that cat cafe? What's it called again? Coffee and toe beans? Izuka's eyes lit up. I have the best idea for my next prank. Daily Cat Facts Thanks for signing up for Cat Facts. You will now receive fun daily facts about cats. What is this? Cats use their tails for balance and have nearly 30 individual bones in them. To cancel daily cat facts, reply, cancel. Would you like to receive a cat fact every hour? Reply, txt 74927 dhdi to cancel. txt 74927 dhgi cancel. Command not recognized. You have a year subscription to cat facts and will receive fun hourly updates. In ancient Egypt, killing a cat was a crime punishable by death. Thanks for choosing cat facts. Cancel. Shut the hell up. Command not recognized. Please let us know you are human to cancel by completing the following sentence. Your favorite animal is the blank. Dog. Incorrect. Your favorite animal is the cat. You will continue to receive cat facts every hour. Who is this? Are you human? It would be your favorite animal is a cat, not the... Welcome to Cat Facts. Did you know that the first cat show was held in 1871 at the Crystal Palace in London? Me, wow. Shut up. I'm calling this number if you don't stop. Thanks for texting Cat Facts. Remember, every time you text, you will receive an instant cat fact. To cancel, reply JFKASHIUPIRG 85443 JFKLBIUUVE 6761 BTRAIJ. J F K A S H I U P I R G eight five four four three J F K L B I U U V E six seven six one B T R A I J. Command not recognized. Did you know there are about a hundred distinct breeds of domestic cat? Plenty of furry love. Stop. Cats bury their feces to cover their trails from predators. To cancel cat facts, reply. F J K A L semicolon H G I R P-E-J-K-L-V-N-A-R-E-I-H-G-R-E-6789-34-9057-9889-9989-9989-9989-9989-9989-9989-9989-9989-9989-9989-9989-9989-9989-9989-9989-9989-9989-9989-9989-9989
I've always thought it'd be really funny to see a racer with someone who was his total opposite. So I had always thought someone like Miss Joke or Midnight, but knowing he's got a husband now, I'm thinking someone like President Mike. I mean, you gotta admit that'd be funny. Shinzo guessed Papa's hero name, so I'm gonna just tell him. How did he guess? And I quote, I've always thought it'd be really funny to see a race art with someone who was his total opposite, so I had always thought someone like Miss Joke or Midnight, but knowing he's got a husband, now I'm thinking someone like President Mike. It's the loud blonde trope. Show, we're a trope now. No, you're a trope. I'm just the guy you latched onto who can't get free. Well, since you guessed correctly, I suppose I can tell you, Izuku laughed. Yeah, President Mike is my papa. Holy shit, Shinzo whispered. I was just joking, trying to be funny. I didn't think you'd really be married to him. Sniggering at his friend, Izuku opened the door to the warehouse, and they entered to see Izashi poking at Shota, who was on the floor in his yellow sleeping bag. Come on, Sho, you can't just ignore me like this. I want attention. Shinzo, meet my papa, Yamada Hizashi, Izuku laughed. Papa, this is Shinzo Itoshi. Please don't scare him off. You're adorable, too. Ooh, what am I going to call you? You can't be the tiny purple baby. You're not tiny at all. Hmm. Hizashi contemplated a name for a few moments before deciding on a name. I got it. You're the purple cat. Shinzo raised an eyebrow. Purple cat? Well, yeah, you're purple. And you're wearing a cat jacket. It has ears on the hood. Hizashi defended himself. I have a tiny green baby and a purple cat. Eh, I've been called worse, Shinzo relented. So what are we doing today? He directed to Shoda. You're going to use your quirk on Zashi while Zuka records Zashi doing stupid things for blackmail purposes later. Shoda deadpanned. Shoda, you can't just use the babies for your selfish gains, Izashi complained. You're right, Shoda amended. What I meant to say is you'll be using your quirk on Zashi while Zuka records him doing whatever you tell him to for totally educational training purposes. Azashi glared at his husband for a moment before letting out a sigh of defeat. Whatever, just make sure you get me to scream at him at least once. He deserves it. After an hour of quirk testing and finding out that Shinzo wasn't able to make someone use their quirks, Shota decided that it was time for physical training and Shinzo went to change. Before Zuku could head over to the changing room, though, Zashi got his attention. Hey, Zuku baby, what do you say about ducking out while Shota's busy with Shinzo? Nezu really wants to meet you in person. Izashi gave him his bright smile. Plus, it'd give me some quality bonding time with my favorite tiny green baby. Sure, Izuku agreed. I'll just let Shinzo know I'm heading out. Will we be back before they're done for the day? Izashi shrugged. You never know when it comes to Nezu. My papa wants to take me to meet someone, and I may or may not be back before your session with uncle is over. Oh, so you aren't going to be joining after all. What part of I'm not aiming to be a hero trips you people up? You and uncle and even papa all think I want to be a hero. Fine, have fun. If you aren't back by the time we're done, I'll still see you tomorrow, right? You know it. Okay, let's head out. Turning to Shota, Izuku called out. Bye, Uncle. See you when we're done. We're going to get ice cream, Zashi called out. All right, listeners, this concludes Chapter 9 of Data Stream. Chapter 10 will be up next. Eager to hear your thoughts and reactions to this one, I think Izuku's prank with Endeavor with the cat facts just killed me. I felt the need to, like, I thought about skipping over some of the cancellation things with, like, him just reading out a list of things for Endeavor to type out as a cancellation response, but I just thought it was so funny how long the author made them that I just, I had to read them out for emphasis, and, and it was just great. Let me know your thoughts and reactions, though. I am eager to hear those. And as always, thank you so much for listening.